Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how I attach decals to my miniatures. Attaching a decal requires several steps, and for this I'm going to need some clear varnish, in this case art coat, some Lamian medium, a Q-tip, tweezers, a hobby knife, paper towel, and any kind of palette with some water. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put some art coat into my palette and mix it with a little bit of water. Before we attach any decals, we want to make sure that we've covered the entire area with a gloss varnish first. The reason for doing this is to create a smooth surface for the decal to attach to. If we don't do this, we're going to have a slightly bumpy surface, and that's going to allow for silvering. Now if you're not familiar with silvering, it's when you get small air bubbles trapped under the decal, and after the decal dries, you can actually see the outline of the decal on your miniature. So here's my miniature, and I'm going to apply my layer of clear varnish. If you plan on attaching several decals, you can clear varnish all those surfaces at once. One tip I would give at this stage would be to clear varnish the entire surface, even if your decal is very small. If you don't do this, you can sometimes see the edge where you put on the clear varnish. So once you get a nice, even, smooth coat, I'm just going to let that dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Next I'm just using my hobby knife to cut out the decal, and the only advice I can really give for this part is to make sure that your cutting surface and your hands are completely dry. So now that my decals are cut, I'm going to take them one at a time and put them on the paper towel. Then I'm going to use my paintbrush and completely soak it. I'm just trying to make sure the paper's good and soggy. After about 30 seconds, your decal will slide around when you touch it with your brush. This is when you know it's ready. The next thing you want to do is then take your brush and completely soak the area that you're going to apply the decal to. If you don't do this, your decal is going to stick there almost immediately and you won't be able to move it around. So now I'm just going to set my decal close to where I want it to be, and I'm going to slowly try to tease it off with my paintbrush. Once you've gotten your decal off the paper, you've got lots of time to move it around, so be patient. If it seems to be taking a little longer than you thought, or it's not cooperating, just add a little bit more water. Now once you've got your decal exactly where you want it, take your Q-tip and just mash it down onto the decal. This is just to soak up all the water and to force the decal to stick to the miniature. You can also do this with a piece of paper towel on your finger, but I find that a Q-tip gives you a little more precision. The one downside of the Q-tip is you occasionally get small cotton fibers stick to your decal, but you can easily just brush those away later with a dry brush, or you can pick them off with the tweezers. The next step is to seal down your decal. Now you can do this in two different ways. You can use Lamian Medium. If you plan on painting where the decal is, or on top of it, then you definitely want to use the Lamian Medium. I plan on adding some battle damage afterwards, so I'm going to be using Lamian Medium for the first coat. If this is the final step in your miniature, then you definitely want to use the art coat and put another layer of clear varnish over the entire surface. You want to make sure that your decal has sealed onto your miniature, so give it a few minutes to dry before you apply that final layer of varnish. After that final layer of clear varnish is dried, you then want to spray the entire miniature with a matte varnish. Now your decal is completely sealed in and it should look like it's just painted on. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.